Hey everybody, I'm Bobby Camacho, your Las Vegas and Henderson realtor. So you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas or Henderson? Well, this is the channel to watch. We're gonna give you some videos about Las Vegas and Henderson. So it's a great channel to be a part of. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button halfway down the page so you guys can get more videos and it motivates us to do more videos as well. So today we're gonna be doing an open house and today's open house is a condominium. So we're gonna be doing a condominium and it's in, um, the southwest part of Las Vegas. So it's by Ikea, which is nice. And then a little bit later, we're gonna go over the payments for you for that uh, condo. So you can see what the payments are gonna be. And the perfect person to go over that with us is Shelly Panzarella from Prosperity Lending. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Bobby, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. We're doing a condo today. So yes, yeah, I'm really excited about doing a condo. We're getting uh, people from out of state, you know, from uh, different places wanting to buy condos out here just as vacation homes. Uh, second homes um, or even just renting them out. So it's it's great that we're doing a condo out here. Yeah, and I love that you're gonna share the uh, location too, because there are some great things happening in this specific location. Yes, you are right, you're right. So yep, let's get right on into it. Okay, so this property is 7701 West Robindale and it's unit 265. Now this property is 285,000, it is a two bedroom. We're gonna go right in here. Here's the living room and here's the view from the kitchen. So we call this a great room when it's open up to the living room. Has granite countertops, lots of kitchen storage here. All the, all the appliances are included as well. Here's the dining room area. The dining room area does open up to the living room as well too. So the living room is a good size living room. This couch is big. So even if you had a smaller couch, you'll have plenty of room here. It has beautiful wood floors. This is the master bedroom. It's a good size master bedroom. You can put a king size bed in here and it opens up here to the master bathroom. What I like about this master bathroom is there's two sinks and they're separate. So you're not running into each other mm -hmm. while you're getting dressed in the morning. It's really nice. Here's the second bedroom. They have it as an office. You can have it as a bedroom, a guest bedroom whatever you like, it's a good size as well. Here's the guest bathroom. And here's the laundry room. And you can put cabinets up here also too, so that way you have more storage. Here's the balcony, it's a long balcony. So you wanna come out here and have coffee or glass of wine at night. It's uh, very relaxing. Now the grounds are really pretty. They do have a clubhouse. So the community does have a pool as well. This property is located in the Southwest area. If you guys are familiar with Ikea, Ikea hasn't been here that long. So it was kind of a big deal for us. And it's right over in that area. We do have a new casino coming as well. It's called Durango Casino. It's gonna have restaurants in there. It's gonna have a food court in there, not to mention the casino, the hotel. It's gonna be really, really pretty. We also have a shopping mall coming. It's called The Bend. Now that one is gonna have more stores in there and they're gonna have a galaxy theater in there as well. So there's plenty to do out here on this side of town now. Right now it's not there, but it's coming. So for sure, if you're gonna buy property out in that area, you, it's a good investment right now. All right, so now we're gonna go over the payment. So Shelly, it's all yours. Thank you so much, Bobby. I do think it's gonna be a great location. So certainly if you're asking yourself if this is the right time to buy, perhaps knowing about the growth that's about to happen in that area, this could be the right home for you in taking advantage of that before they get there. So just to take you through this condo and some of the financing that's available for you, I'm gonna share with you three different scenarios. The first is gonna be a traditional FHA loan. For FHA financing, there's a minimum FICO score of 580, 3.5% down. You'll see here today that interest rate is gonna be 7.125 and your total payment is gonna be 2391 now this payment includes your mortgage insurance your homeowner's insurance your property taxes and the homeowners association due which bobby mentioned to you that there's a clubhouse with the different amenities and that's what the homeowners association provides you'll see with the down payment and closing costs your total cash to close is going to be 18,725. this is your traditional fha mortgage if we look at an fha down payment assistance program hence the name dpa it's that it follows the traditional fha with three and a half percent down the rate today is actually seven percent and that total payment is going to be two thousand three sixty eight but you'll see here because of the assistance the total cash to close is going to be lower and it'll be at eleven thousand three fifty 
if you're a first time home buyer, you can actually take advantage of a conventional loan. The minimum credit score for conventional financing is going to be 620. Um, and so you'll see here the down payment is going to be 8,550. The total payment is going to be 2,500 and your total cash to close is going to be 15,550. To get more information on that down payment assistance program or any of the programs that you see here or any other scenario, feel free to reach back out to Bobby or myself. Something else I want to share with you um, is the cost of waiting. So not only the, the thought around, hey, there's a lot of expansion going out here, but the cost of waiting based on appreciation and based on interest rates increasing. So over a period of six months, one year, two years or three years down the road, it could cost you $33,000 if you decided to wait. And then your buying power. So looking at uh, where rates are today at 7.125 and the purchase price today at 285,000, that's a principal and interest payment of 1,920. If rates should increase to 7.625, that would reduce your buying power to $271,000 for that exact same principal and interest payment. So again, for any questions on this or you wanna walk through any other scenarios, feel free to reach back out to Bobby and myself. Back to you, Bobby. Thank you so much. And um, don't let those interest rates scare you. It's a buyer's market right now. We're asking for different uh, negotiating items too when we're purchasing. All my investors are now calling because they don't care about the interest rate. They know it's a buyer's market right now. So um, if you guys have any questions about that, reach out to us. We'll be happy to help you with any of that. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And if you guys have any questions, call us, text us, email us, however you want to get a hold of us. We're here to help you in any way possible. And with that said, you guys make it a great day. Bye. Bye.